Oscar. Oscar, thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the Italian Wine Podcast Lockdown Series. Every Monday we'll be connecting with Italian wine people. Join us to find out what they're doing and drinking today. This podcast is brought to you by Colangelo and Partners, the leading fine wine and spirits agency in the US. Visit Colangelo and Partners on www.colangelopr.com. Howdy, y'all! <laughs> But Jeff, if you tell me before that you have the guitar, I take my guitar, but uh, I have it in my house, it's not possible now. But if you start, you yeah. play and I sing. Non c'è un problema. My favorite author in Italy is Domenico Modugno. Please, you start with one do, please. One do, you know do? The do? Do. 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 Look, do. Do. No, this is not Do, please. Right. Do. Do. Do and La minore. You have? You start with what you want. Please? Yeah. Okay, Do. Vai. Sento che un giorno così non ritorni mai più La minore. Mi dipingevo le mani e la faccia di blu Poi di provviso venivo dal cielo rapito e guardavo in cielo quel lungo infinito volare. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we're, go. Yeah. We're gonna work on it. When, when, when we're able to get together, uh, you, me, and Joe will uh, we'll, uh, we'll jam out. Volare, vai. Volare. Well, chin chin. Chin chin. My wine is Barolo 2014. My Very wine, good. Dolcetto di Alba 2016. 16. <laughs> good. Well, Oscar, thank you for uh, joining me today. It's a real honor to see you. It's been a while. And uh, I just want to reach out and check in right now. How are you and your family doing? Very good. The salad is very good. No problem. The problem is for the work because you know that all my restaurant in all the world is closed for the loads. And uh, now we have 60% uh, of the turnover that is out. No? This is big problem. We have uh, 9,000 employees and I want to guarantee the salary many sacrifices, but I am very strong. Never, ever give up. I, I think there's there's two parts to your, uh, the existence there. Where actually are you? Are you are you in Seralunga right now? Yes, now I stay in Seralunga, in Fontana Fredda. And uh, we work here because it's only three, four kilometers from my house. And it's possible for me to go with the car is okay, bureaucratic okay, and I, I stay all day in my farmer company. I write, I read, and I speak online with all the world for all the problem. Well, I think that leads me into one of my first questions. You're, you're a lover of philosophy, and um, in, in this time of COVID, are there any particular philosophers or a particular philosophy that keeps you motivated to look towards the future, as you were saying about your employees and the strength that you have. What are, what are you, uh, what do you rely on to, to help you give that strength in the arts? Well, I, I like the philosophy. I studied the philosophy all day. My, my preference is the first philosophy, Socrates. I can tell in English, Socrates, Socrat, no, Socrates. You remember Socrates was a fantastic uh, time in the old Greece in Athene. Pericles, Socrates, Platone, and Aristotle. 173 years from one born Pericles, one died uh, Aristotle. The change, 
change all the future of the world. And Socrates was the best. You know that Socrates don't write nothing. It was Platone that after write. And Socrates tell, I know that I don't know. And this is fantastic. In particular, in this time, that is many, many people that speak, 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 that tell, I know, I know, you don't know nothing. <laughs> the only thing that I know is that I don't know. And I love Socrates for these uh, aphorisms. I, I think we should make a t-shirt right now that says that. What, um, you had mentioned that you've been reading a lot. What books are you reading currently? Normally, I, I tell you one secret. Okay. Normally, I read two or three books together. And at the same time, I write one my book. For example, this is my new book. You know what is the serendipity? This is my new book that exit in the library the next week. And I think that in two or three months, uh, you will have in USA is the serendipity, is 50 history of invention that born for mistake. Maybe it does not your favorite, one of your favorite uh, inventions that were discovered by chance that's that you write about in the book. A, a little preview, as it were. Uh, I, I, I have write 50 history. Panettone, Barolo, Champagne, Sautern, Amarone. My preference is the history of the cornflakes of the, the brother Kellogg. Right. It was incredible history, is American history, incredible of these two brothers then have big problem for the cornflakes. Yes, you know, this is my preference. Once you're allowed to travel within Italy, not for business, but for pleasure, where, where would you go first or where will you go first? in Italy, because the last company that we have built of wine is in Sicily, in Etna, is Carranco, in the north part of the Etna that is the best. I like very much to go in Sicily, because Sicily is not one region, it's one continent. Right. Every valley is different, every landscape, many hearts, because 70% of the, the old arts of the world stay in Italy and 50% of this art is in Sicily. Because you know that in Italy got the Greece, got the Spanish, got the Normandy, blah, blah, blah. And I like very much the south of Italy. That is one part uh, difficult of our country because uh, have big problem, mafia, blah, blah, blah. But it's incredible. Landscape of sea, landscape of mountain, landscape of uh, valley, landscape of hill. For me, Sicily was a, a revelation of, of thought and emotion for me. I'd only been there once before, but for one day, and I spent 10 days in Sicily last year, all around, and it's, you can feel so much history of, of the entire Western world being there. And then you can also feel Mother Earth. Like in talking to everyone on Etna, they're like, she decides everything. When yeah. they, and they put them out Etna and it's, wow. it's unbelievable. It's truly- The mountain, the mountain. Si. Okay, but you stay in the Lange, in my side. Uh, I but love, of course, I mean, I'm the Barolo bear. When, uh, when we speak about the region of Italy for the side, which is the more beautiful, we tell after the Lange, blah, blah, blah. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Before the Lange. That's after funny. the Lange, Etna is the best. Okay. Ah, that's amazing. <laughs> With you being home more often, would you say you're, you're you're drinking more wine right now, the same amount of wine or less wine? <laughs> it's a good question. Normally, before virus, I stay medium average 
one or two days per week in the house. Because the other day I stay in the world. And normally when I stay in the house, I don't drink nothing, zero. I have fantastic cellar of wine in my house with bottles, incredible. But uh, it's, uh, it's not possible to drink because every day for the work I, I drink, blah, blah, blah. Now that I stay every day in the house, I drink in the house, is news for me, it's news. <laughs> it's news. I don't go in the restaurant, but not too much. Not too much because I like to drink, but not too much. And I think that uh, if uh, I drink too much, uh, I don't, uh, I don't understand the why. I normally don't drink at home at all because I travel a lot, like you. And uh, but now that I've been home, I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> uh, but it's been fun to rediscover wines because most of the time, I'm out. Uh, doing events or something, I'm drinking what the event is, and now I'm tasting wine from my cellar and being like, oh, I remember buying that. And there's a store that goes, like you said, you met your friend, you drank this wine from Franconia, and it gives you that beauty of what the connection is of wine. When you when you're able to come back to the United States, what's the first type of non-Italian restaurant you want to go eat at? I don't know. No, but I don't like, know which restaurant, but I know the dish that I want to eat. Right. I want to eat the giant scallops from, uh, from Boston, that is coming from Boston. The giant scallop is incredible. I want to eat with uh, one, uh, one Riesling uh, from California, from Sonoma Valley. And the other dish that I like very much from New York is the Caesar salad. You know that uh -huh. salad is one serendipity. Was invented in Mexico. It's incredible history of the Caesar salad. It was invented from Italian, Italian chef, but they live in Mexico before and in San Diego after. And the real Caesar salad I like very much. I think that it's not possible to test one cheese or salad in Italy, same in USA, because the insalata, come si chiama? The lattuga romana, romana lattuga, that you have in the United States is the best. And I like to eat cheese or salad with Pinot Noir mm -hmm. from California. Fantastic. Perfect. Giant uh, scallop and cheese or salad, remember. <laughs> It is waiting for you here and uh, when, you, when you're able to come to the United States. I think we have one last question for you. Please. Why, why is it so important to be talking about Italian wine more than ever right now? Ah, every time is good for to speak, to celebrate Italian wine. But now particularly, because uh, the Italian wine have two assets, very important for me. First, the biodiversity of Italian wine. It's possible every day to change one region and to test different wine. Because you know that in Italy, we have 1,200 different grapes. The second in the world is French, that have 222. This is the the big difference, no? And uh, is very important the biodiversity. And the second at that the Italian wine is clean. Because we have the most number of organic company in a, of the rest of the world. And the, the, the earth is clean because the residuum chemic in Italy is the less of the world and these two assets very very important for to speak in the world because i think that in the era of post of post virus the people will want clean product sustainability product and italia is in the first position for to celebrate the sustainability in the wine well, I can't uh, agree more. So, Oscar, salute. 
Salute. Salute. Ching. <laughs> and I, you know, unfortunately, we were supposed to, to, to grill today on my barbecue, uh, but it's raining here in New York. So when I'm able to come to the Long A, I will cook you a meal. And when you come to New York, you can come to Brooklyn and uh, big, big fire, big steaks, Texas style. Oscar, Oscar, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you soon in the long A. Drink a glass of wine. <laughs> thank you to you, Jeff. <laughs>